I am literally leaving my house right now. I just recorded a video for you guys, and I wanted to do a little introduction to it, but I've got to go pick up my wife and kids. So I hope you um, learned something from this video. It's an old technique using Cat to as a text editor. So let's jump right in. I literally have to leave to pick up my wife. I had five minutes to record this video. I finished and realized I never clicked record. So I'm going to do this very quickly. I feel kind of weird doing this tutorial because this seems like such a, to me, a, a common thing that everybody should know. Uh, but thinking like that's just, just, it's called the curse of knowledge when you know something and you think everybody knows it. Someone who's new to a Unix or a Unix style system like Linux uh, may not know this. And even people who have used Linux for a while may not know this. Now we all know that we can say echo hello world, uh, which exits to the screen, but we can do the greater than symbol to put that into a file like text.txt. .txt. And then I can use cat to cat that out and that text is in there. But did you know that if you type cat and you hit enter, you can just start typing, but every time you hit enter, it basically echoes back that line to you. I'm gonna hit control C to get out of that. Which means if you do cat and you do the greater than symbol to create a new file or overwrite a file or greater than greater than to append, I'm just gonna create a new file here. I'll just call it text.txt. I can type, this is a thing I am typing on the screen. And when I'm done, I hit control D. Now I can see if I cat it out, cat.txt, I actually created that file and put what I typed in there. So this has been considered the poor man's text editor. If you're on a, it has come in handy for me on a lightweight system. If you're working on like a modem or a router where you pop a shell and you need to put something into a file, you can add to a file if you have multiple lines like this. Uh, if you don't have Vim or Vi or Nano, which yeah, Vi is built into BusyBox and usually you can get a copy of BusyBox onto a system if you have a shell, but if not, this is one way about going about. But there's another way, another area where this has become useful for me. Um, so with Vim, here I've looked up online, I'm gonna copy this. This is the entire Bible, the, the, the King James Bible, which is a very large text. So, and I'm using this as an extreme example, but even just uh, a lot of large text files, if I vim into a bible.txt, uh, which the file did kind of exist because I was doing this video a little bit ago, if I hit I am in insert mode, I can type stuff. If I hit control shift V to paste that, is anything happening? Is anything happening? Yes, yeah, something is happening. Look, I can try to type, nothing's happening. But if I uh, use uh, tmux to split my screen and I go to the other screen down here, Oops. Uh, you can see that on the bottom here is the Vim that I was just in. It is pasting it, but it's still going. If I go back down there and I try to say something, nothing happens. If I make it full screen, you can see it's a little bit further. Control uh, A up uh, arrow or whatever command. Eh, blah. I don't have time to record this and I just messed up, but I just went up to the other terminal screen here. You can see it updated the screen, but it's still pasting it. But if I was to do cat, greater than bible2.txt, and I hit control shift V to paste that text in there. It's a lot of text, so it takes, but it's gonna take maybe five, 10 seconds at most, and it's going to put all of that text into that file. It's putting it there, okay, we're done. I'm gonna hit enter here, and I'm gonna hit control D, and now I can cat out bible2.txt, and I can even open that up with Vim right now. Bible2.txt, and you can see it's all here. I can go all the way down to the end or all the way up to the top. Uh, and from my understanding, the reason for this it has to do with buffers and stuff, basically from my understanding is when you paste something into Vim like that, it's actually typing every single character. It's like typing it, which takes a lot longer than just pasting it. Don't ask me why, I'm sure there's technical reasons on why it does this, but it takes forever to, to paste large amounts of text into Vim. But again, if you use this cat command, text. Uh, text2.txt, then you can paste it right here in the shell. When you get to the end, you hit control D and you just create that text file. And again, you can then use uh, Vim to open up that file. And it's a lot faster than trying to paste it right into Vim as is, you can see. And again, the first thing we did, still going, but I've just pasted it into two different text files and opened it up in Vim, no problem. So I hope you find this useful. Again, it's an old trick that uh, a lot of people know, but I think a lot of people don't know, so I decided to do a tutorial on it. And now I'm three minutes late to going to pick up my wife, so I have to get going. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.